Hello, I'm driving from work and I'm just going to say it, spoilers all the way. It's going to be very hard for me to talk about the spoilers from today without getting into some extra spoilers that you haven't seen if you're just covering the main feed. So beware of spoilers, please. All right, perfect. So user stellar cartography has another awesome Romulan personnel that came out. He's got an ability to be more awesome at a nebula on a ship, but between him and Inatra, we've got a couple new deck types coming with this set for Romulans. All of a sudden, a Nemesis-based deck is pretty viable. This is not the first time we've got Romulan-aligned personnel, especially Remen. Look at Metamorphosis. And that's not even going into Enterprise. A Remen-Romulan deck is... viable. I'm driving today, so I really can't do a deep dive into this, even with the cars that we've seen, but... Tomorrow I'll see if I could put together the bones of a Remen, of a Romulan Nemesis deck, but it's got legs! Like, you, you probably need Remens in there to do stuff, but Donatra has triple classifications! This is actually doable! Holy Kanike! Uh, there's also a nice card that she downloads called Change of Heart, which is one of the best things that happens when she and Sulan get together. Uh, it's a way to reselect a random selection and a way to um, get rid of Rules of Obedience. And uh, how popular is Rules of Obedience? I'm just driving along, but let me see if I can just pull it up. And, oh dear lord! Th 357 decks! Nyah! Even if you're not going to be using it for the random selections, you're probably going to want to use it to get out of the way of rules of obedience. Alright, um, that's all that I have today. Feel free to take a look at them, and um, some point tomorrow we'll do a deep dive into these new Romulan decks. Um, Remans are probably not standalone, though, as with everything that I say, feel free to prove me wrong. Alright, that's all I have for today. Have a good day, and we'll catch you next time.